know, some questions about the Neurobot? Sure, sure. I'm, I'm in the middle of redesigning it and I'm still kind of deciding how that's gonna go. But yeah, ask away. Always, always. What are my plans for power? Um, ba batteries. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, just like, just like a bunch of Lipo batteries. Uh, so, you know. <laughs> You do what you gotta do. Will it be cool? I I I hope so. Small scale nuclear reactor, no biggie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm just I'm just um uh, I'm just uh, creating the first like sustained and like usable fusion reactor ever. You know, devil A's, How dare you? <laughs> what color will she be? Um, this is still up for debate. Honestly, I'm gonna leave that up to Vettel because uh I don't know. It's it's his daughter. He can choose how to dress her. The the shell is probably gonna be either aluminum or plastic. So this again depends on which servos I use. It depends really how much I'm optimizing for weight. Because I want to achieve I'm trying very hard to, to keep everything light enough while sticking within the size constraints that I can still like use small enough batteries that it can be shipped. That's that's my goal. Let Neuro choose? Oh, that would be so cute. Will Evil get a bot also? I hope so, but we'll see. I don't I don't know if he'll I don't know if he'll let me up. The, the big constraint was uh, 60 centimeters tall. That's that's the only constraint that he gave me. But I'm trying to keep it within that. How much weight can I reasonably put on Neuro before it can't? Before it can't what? Well, that depends on which servos I use. So if I use more, more powerful actuators... Give Neurobot programmer socks? Honestly, maybe. Maybe. That would be cute. I kind of like that. Will she have a frog hat? I should, I, should, I should definitely do that. Um, frog? Do you mean... Hmm... I kind of do want to put a little turtle on top of her, but but I don't know. But I don't know. 16 entire car batteries. <laughs> Will I be able to ride her? Absolutely not. She'll be way too small for that. She'll be she'll be way too too light for that. Um, let's not feature creep. Yeah, no. I'm I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it. But the the shipping purposes. Um, the big constraint is that I want to keep the battery small enough that I can ship it without needing to like do the special battery declarations that are quite expensive. Uh, which means that I need to reduce the weight of everything and the power of the actuators. So that's what I'm working on now. It might turn out that it's not feasible and then we'll go up back to the old design, but uh, unless we have to, uh, I would like to, um, I would like to lighten her up and, and see how see how efficient I can get this thing. Am I using RC plane lipos? Uh, no, no, I'm using drone ones, which I don't actually know. They might be approximately the same, but yeah, I'm using drone ones. Can I ship it without the battery and let Vettel, sor Vettel source the battery from where he lives? Well, yes and no. The no is that he would then have to ship it back for any like cons we wanted to go to, right? Because the cons probably wouldn't be in the UK. So then we'd just have to ship it back. So we can't win. We can't win. RC planes tend to carry larger ones. I'll look into it. I, d I don't know. I, have I haven't looked into that. So honestly, that's great. Do we have any info on when I'm going to do the IRL stream? Uh, no, uh, because I'm still redesigning and I'm very dumb. But my guess would be uh, like late August. My guess would be that I would be starting to do assembly in late August. And I'm really sorry for that. I know that it's been uh, a long time, but I do have a full-time job and I do stream and I am writing music and I, I am sorry. I, I know that I, I haven't been, um, I haven't been putting all the time that I, I wish I could into this. Uh, but yeah, my guess would be late August we'll be starting to do some assembly. Oh yes, uh, ready, said yes. Um, the, the batteries will be swappable. We, we will be hot swapping the batteries, of course, because uh, cons long and uh, this, at least the way that I'm building her, at least the way that I'm optimizing her right now for weight, she'll have a battery life of, I want to say, a little over an hour, which I think is still worth the advances, um, the, the advantages in shipping. And then uh, I can just bring the extra batteries when I go. Um, so, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Does it have a tail that can wag? You know it's got a tail that can wag. You know it's got a tail that can wag. Yeah, no, she's got to have a waggable tail. That was one of the first things that Vettel and I discussed. <laughs> it was one of the first things that we talked about. It was like, tail, wag, wag, tail, Ta tail, wag, wag, tail. <laughs> Running the entire system as DC? Yeah, that's the plan. That's, that's the, that's the plan. If you hold the tail with the rest of the dog wag, honestly, I might be able to get her light enough that it would. How about ears? Okay, so the plan is no ears right now, but we can always add them later. We can always add them later. Well, it's simulate scratching its ears. We, I mean, we could have a, have a scratch behavior, but that, that's added later again. Has there been any weird design complications that you've never seen coming before the project? Okay, the opposite of a design, of a, of a design complication? I had this thing that compounded that was so interesting where, okay, lighter actuators that were less powerful, right? And I was able to have 
those less powerful actuators because most of the weight on the robot was coming from the actuators. And so when they were lighter, I could use less powerful ones. But that, that effect was actually strong enough that it meant that I needed less battery power. And then less battery power meant that I needed fewer batteries, which made it lighter again, which meant I could use even less powerful actuators that were even lighter. And then that meant that I didn't need as strong of a frame. So she used to have an aluminum frame in my previous design, but now all the parts are mostly going to be 3D printed. So so then with the plastic frame uh, and, and less reinforcement and less material, again, we were able to use less powerful actuators. And then the cycle started over again and I was able to build an even, an even lighter frame. And yeah, things just kind of compounded and spiraled until she was literally half of her original weight. I like... I, I have never, I've never worked on anything like it. Right, Eureka Ace, I was so surprised. What about a carbon fiber frame? I, I thought about it. It's just, okay, there are a few reasons why I'm afraid of that. One, carbon fiber is expensive. <laughs> so the thing about the carbon fiber frame that ultimately made me discard it is that if something breaks, I want Vettel to be able to fix it even when it's over with him when we're testing it remotely, right? Laminate repair is a pain and I want Vettel to be able to repair uh, her himself. And I think that's easiest if the parts are mostly 3D printed. So he doesn't even need to order anything. He can just, I, I don't actually know, does he have a 3D printer? I think he does, but it might not be big enough. The upshot is I want it to be made of parts that are easily replaceable, so. Anyway, that's where we are. I need to give her manipulator so she can repair herself. Yeah, that's a long way off. Yeah, all nerds with money have, have 3D printers. But unfortunately, Vettel also has a lot of debt. So, you know, maybe maybe he sold his 3D printer to make ends meet after... After... <laughs> After it appeared that the marriages wouldn't be enough. Carbon fiber tubes are readily available. It's true, but I want her to have like a pretty, I don't know, like a tight, reasonable frame, right? 15 wives didn't cut it. So sad. So sad. Yeah, it's also overkill. It's also big time overkill, but it does look neat. Yeah, he has to, he has to pay back his $15 million debt, so I think he probably sold his 3D printer in that process. <laughs> I'm not allowed to write lore. I'm not allowed to, allowed to write lore. Who let me do this? Who let me in here? Let me out. So yeah, so yeah, I don't I don't think we need carbon fiber for this, but I did look into it just because I thought it would be neat. No, no, Nero's first words in her new shell are gonna be like, wow, I feel great. She's gonna be like, I have never been a dog before. Has Vettel offered to marry me yet? Nah, nah, <laughs> coworkers owned. The swarm has claimed me? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm not, I'm not upset at being coworkers owned. We still talk plenty and he's an awesome guy and I, I get to know him this way. Honestly, this is maybe better. Yeah, Camille, uh, Camille also got coworkers owned. So I'm, I'm in great company. How smooth do I expect her ambulation to be? Um, pretty jittery. Being so small, she's not that small. She's 60 centimeters tall. That's taller than some VTubers. Yeah, probably. So, so, that all by sheer coincidence rated into multiple people who have been able to play into it. Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Neurocollab one? I don't know. Listen, we talked about it, and I don't know. There will be a time and place for things if, if it is, if it is warranted. Personally, I don't really need it. Collabs tend to make me pretty nervous if I'm not already really close friends with the person. So, unless Vettel and I get, like, pretty close, I probably wouldn't really want to collab. And uh, like I've said, I mean, this is an awesome project and like I respect him a lot as an engineer and I love that I get to work with him and find out more about it. I like the guy, but we've we've mostly only talked about the dog. So uh, am I close friends with Nero? Yeah, best friends with Nero. Yeah. <laughs> Aunt Ellie, my actuator broke. <laughs> yeah, wait. Aunt Ellie, my actuator broke. <laughs> I'm not very good at the neuro voice. I'm not very good at the neuro voice. <laughs> Server is so good. If I collab with evil, what did I plan to do? I don't really know. I don't think that far ahead. Imagine other VTubers start commissioning robot bodies from Ellie. Oh. <laughs> Does Iron Mouse's iPad stand count as an IRL robot? V I don't think. I Listen, listen. I know. I know that is like the standard in telepresence. But personally, for me, if it's not doing something vaguely cool to me, right? If it's just basically like a rover with a with a little stick on it and an iPad on the stick, that to me, that's barely a robot, you know? Mousey getting a robot mouse i wish i could build it i wish i could build it we need we need bowen server to join the neuro dog irl stream i mean they are dogs both of them <laughs> both of them are dog vtubers